Hello students, I am Dr. Gajendra Purohit and you are watching our YouTube channel where I upload videos for engineering, mathematics and BSc. If you are preparing for any competitive exam related to higher mathematics, our channel will be helpful for you. Today I will explain about the limit comparison test which is a test of infinite series. So students, if we have an infinite series with us and we have to find that if it's convergent or not, then for that I explained P-series test, geometric test and then Previously, I also explained the comparison test. Today, I will explain how to determine if a series is convergent with the help of a limit comparison test. Suppose you have two series, summation un and summation vn. Both are infinite series that has positive terms. And the value of limit n tends to infinity, un upon vn is L and L is a non-zero finite. Make sure it should be a non-zero finite, which means its value should neither be zero nor infinite. Is it clear students? So this means we must have a non-zero finite value, right? Then in that case, both of them will have same behavior. If one of them is divergent, then the other one will also be divergent. And if one of them is convergent, then the other one will also be convergent, right? Now we will discuss the type of questions that are often asked. Let's say we have a question with us that goes like this. Under root of n to the power 5 plus n. Now we have a series where we have to figure out whether this series is a convergent series or not. It's going from n is equal to 1 to infinite. Right students? So what will we do now? We have un with us. Now what is this un? So this un will be 1 upon n power 5 plus n. Right? So students, you have to take Vn whose value will be finite, meaning if we calculate the limit of both, that is Un upon Vn, then it gives us a finite value. Is it clear? The biggest confusion among the students is that they don't know what exactly to take for Vn. Let me tell you the method, take the highest degree term from whatever term we have and remove the rest. Now here picking the highest degree term will give us 1 upon under root n power 5, which I can also write it as n power 5 by 2, right? Now students, calculate the limit of it, okay? When we will calculate the limit, we will get limit n tends to infinity and calculate un upon vn. So students, we will get limit n tends to infinity. Tell me, what is the value of un here? 1 upon root n power 5 plus n upon vn. Upon dividing, we will get 1 upon and this will go above as n power 5 by 2. Now what will we do here? We will take n power 5, the highest degree as common. Limit n tends to infinity, n power 5 by 2, take it common, this will be n power 5 by 2 under root of 1 plus 1 by, this n power 5 in denominator will be n power 4 as it will be cancelled. Now students, this cancels out and as n tends to infinity, it will become 0. Here the value will be 1. It means that the behavior of both of them will be same and as we know that summation vn series is, which means the summation of 1 upon n to the power of 5 by 2 is convergent by p series. This series will also be considered as convergent series. Therefore, this is the method we have got for the limit comparison test, right? So we can see we have un with us. Pick the highest degree. In this case, it is n, power q and n, power p, right? Now, if you are getting this, then we will take this as vn. So students, whenever a term of n is cancelled, then pick the highest degree and consider it as vn. Is it clear? When you will take this up, you will notice how it gets cancelled and we get the finite value. Let me explain it to you with an example for a better understanding. Now we have Vn with us in this question, right? Sorry students. It's Un not Vn and its value is n upon whole cube of n plus 1. Now you might ask what should we take for the Vn? Don't get bothered. Pick n from the numerator and putting constant in denominator as well. We will get n upon n cube. This will be cancelled. Now 1 upon n will be Vn. Now what will you do students? Take the limit n tends to infinity. This will give you un upon vn. Is it clear? So students, what will we get? Limit n tends to infinity. Under root of this will be n upon whole cube of n plus 1. This is un upon vn. So when we will divide it, then where this n will go, it will go above, right? So this is the value we have got. Now tell me students, what will we do? Limit n tends to infinity. First, we have to deal with this under root. So I am taking out n cube as common and this is whole cube of 1 plus 1 by n. Now you can see that we have already got n by 1 here. So you will see 1n will get cancelled from n and limit n tends to infinity. n square will be left. Let's take this out. And the under root of this will be whole cube of 1 upon 1 plus 1 by n. 
This is n by 1, n gets cancelled and n tends to infinity will go to 0. So, its value is 1. It means that the behavior of both of them will be the same. We also know that summation Vn meaning summation of 1 upon n is a divergent series by P series. It means the obtained series will be a divergent series. This is the process you have to understand and work upon it. Is it clear? Now next we have a new question with us. The question is there on the board and you are being asked to test the convergence of this series right students. So what will we do next? Now we will see that the nth term will be n is equal to 1 to infinity and this will be n right? This will be our n plus 1 and this will be like n plus 2 can you see? This is the first term, this is second and this is third. 1, 2, 3 and 2, 3, 4. Clear? What will we do now? We have 1, 3 and 5. So tell me what will be the value of this 2 and minus 1 because it's odd term. If we put n as 1, then we will get this. n as 2, then we will get this and putting n as 3 will give this. So this will be nth term. You can solve this question in a single glance. I think if you are preparing for any exam, you don't even need to calculate it. At denominator, it's n cube at numerator, it's n. Cancel them and you will get 1 upon n square. It's convergent by P series test. So let's come to the point. I will explain it to you by solving a question. Since this is mathematics and we have to follow the process in detail for our exams. See, this is our un so let's write vn is equal to, we will assume vn, we will remove the constant from it and leave n, n as it is. We have n as a numerator. We don't require a constant 2 or 1 right now since we have 3n with us, we will write it as n cube. Got it? So students from here we have 1 upon n square. Now since we have got a vn and a un, let's simply apply it. The limit and tends to infinity will be un upon vn. Is it clear? Now what will we do next? Let's see. When we will solve limit n tends to infinity, then what will be the value of un? 2n minus 1, n into n plus 1, n plus 2 and into vn and vn here is 1 upon n square. So what will we do? This is 1 upon n square, so this n square will go up. Now limit n tends to infinity. From here take n square and n as common. Then this will become n cube and this will be 2 minus 1 upon n. Now we will take n and n as common. Then this will be n cube 1 plus 1 by n and 1 plus 2 by n. So students n cube and n cube gets cancelled. And if you see on n tends to infinity then we will get this as 0, 0 and 0 here as well. Thus here we will get 2 by 1. That is equal to 2. Now students since it is a finite value behavior of these two series will be similar. And students this series will be 1 upon n square. So a series like this is a convergent series by p series. So it means this one will also be convergent. I hope this is clear to you all now. Students, see this question. How will we prove if this is convergent or not? So at first, we will pick a given series. n is equal to 1 tends to infinity, the under root of n square plus 1 minus n. So students, whenever we encounter such question, we should rationalize it. We will get under root of n square plus 1 plus n divided by, and this will be under root of n square plus 1 plus n. So a minus b a plus b will come as a square minus b square. Is it clear students? We will get n square plus 1. Square of under root will remove under root and minus n square. a square minus b square. Squaring this will get us this and squaring this will get us this. Divided by we will get this as n square plus 1 plus n. n square and n square will get cancelled. n equals to 1 to infinity. It will be 1 upon under root of n square plus 1 plus n. Now whenever we get something like this, then you will see students here we will get the un as, so here the un we are getting is the under root of 1 upon n square plus 1 plus n. So what will we do with the vn? Remove the constant term that is 1, so square root of n is n plus this n. So 1 upon 2n but ultimately we will take variable thus we will get 1 upon n. 1 upon n will be there. After removing 1 this root n square will become n, n plus n will be 2n. So 1 by 2n remove 2 from 1 by n. So I hope this is clear students. This is how we will assume this. So limit n tends to infinity. Calculate un upon vn. Here this will be limit n tends to infinity. Then we will get 1 upon under root of n square plus 1 plus n. We have got un. So now we will do upon vn, right? If we put 1 upon n, this n will go up. Take n as common from the bottom. Limit n tends to infinity. This is n. Take n as common, n square will come out. We will get under root of 1 upon 1 by n square plus 1. Now n and n will cancel each other. Putting on n tends to infinity. We will get a 0. So 1 and 1 means 1 by 2 which is finite value. So students this is finite value and if we have a finite value then it will be convergent meaning if the value is finite then behavior of both will be same. Also we know that the series Vn is divergent on n tends to infinity by P series test. 
So students, it means that this series will be a divergent series, right? Now let's alter the same question and suppose this is given in this way, n power 4 plus 1 and here this would be n square, right? n power 4 plus 1 minus n square. Then in that case, by applying n power 4 plus 1 minus n square would have got us n power 4 plus 1 plus n square, right? Got it? So Vn at denominator would have been 1 upon n square and would be convergent. In this way, we would have got convergent series. Pay little bit of attention to the given question. Similarly, we have this question. It appears to be a tough question, but it's not. Look here, students. Pay attention what's written on the board. Un is equal to 2n square minus 1 power 1 by 3 upon 3n cube, right? Plus 2n plus 5 power 1 by 4. Now, we'll assume it's Vn. Let Vn is equal to. We can remove the constant as we don't need them. So, from here we will get n square power 1 by 3, see at numerator, this will be n square power 1 by 3, so it will be n power 2 by 3. Now, what is the highest power? Keep the highest and remove the rest, we do not need them. There is n cube n power 1 by 4, so what will we get? Here n cube will be n power 3 by 4. Now, simplify this from here, which one is bigger? n power 3 by 4 is bigger, n power 2 by 3 will be the smaller one. So, we will write it as 1 upon n power 3 by 4 minus 2 by 3. Right, students? When you will simplify this, it will be 9 minus 8, which will be 1 by 12. So, students, here the power will be 1 by 12. Thus, 1 upon n to the power 1 by 12. You can also check it by doing it yourself. Now, what will we do next? We will find limit n tends to infinity. Now, we will calculate un upon vn. Students, you have to assume this vn by following this method. You will be able to do it like this. What will we do now? Limit. This will be n tends to infinity and this will be 2n square minus 1 power 1 by 3 upon 3n cube. Well, you must know that 1 upon n power 1 by 12 is divergent, right? I am explaining the process to you for your better understanding. Otherwise, if this would be a competition, you could have done it easily. And after putting vn, this n power 1 by 12 will come at numerator. This will be the limit n tends to infinity. Take n square as common. When we take n square as common, we will get n power 2 by 3. 2 minus 1 by n square power 1 by 3, n power 1 by 12 divided by, now take out n cube from here. Is it clear? When you will take n cube as common, then students, you will get n power 3 by 4. And this will be 3 plus 2 upon n square plus 5 upon n cube power 1 by 4. Now, as soon as you put n tends to infinity, all of this will be 0, everything will be 0. Now, when you will add this, then 2 by 3 plus 1 by 12 will get us 3 by 4. So, eventually all these terms will get cancelled among themselves, right students? So, here the value that will be left is 2 to the power of 1 by 3 and 3 to the power of 1 by 4, which is a non-zero finite value. And non-zero finite value means that behavior of these two will be the same. And we know that summation Vn will be, where n is equal to 1 to infinity. Meaning n is equal to 1 to infinity. We will get this as 1 upon n power 1 by 12 by p series. So, it will be divergent. So, students, you all need to understand that this series will also be a divergent series, right? Now, we have been given a question where we are being asked to show. The series is a convergent series if the value of alpha is greater than 1. So, let's see how to solve this. It will definitely be a convergent series. Let's see how we will proceed with the solution. It will be n power p, n plus 1p plus alpha. So, we will get un as n power p upon n plus 1 to the power p plus alpha. Now, I have already explained you to assume vn like this, where you first need to remove the constant. We will get n to the power p upon n to the power p plus alpha. Clear? We will remove 1, then it will be this. Now, cancel n. So, the value of vn will be n power alpha. Understood? Now, students, what will we do here? We will calculate limit n tends to infinity, un upon vn. So, students, it will be limit n tends to infinity, n to the power p upon n plus 1. This will be p plus alpha. And n power alpha from vn will go to numerator. Now, let's do one thing. Take n as common. This will be limit n tends to infinity. It will be n. Power will be added, so p plus alpha. And if we take out the common, then we get p plus alpha. 1 upon 1 by n to the power p plus alpha. This term cancels out this term and n tends to infinity. This term will be 0. Its value will be 1. Thus, we have got this as a non-zero finite value, right? So, students, we know that upon calculating the summation value of Vn, we will get 1 upon n power alpha, right? And you are being told that it is convergent. Now, as we know by the P-series test that if the value of alpha is greater than 1, only then it will be called convergent series, right? So, you need to understand this.
This is for the comment box summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 upon n power p plus 1. The question is for what value of p it will be convergent. So students you have to answer in the comment box that how many milliseconds did you take to solve it. Please tell me in the comments and for watching more videos like this you can go to the entire playlist. If you are preparing for CSIR net get or IIT jam exams and want to improve your short tricks then you can watch my videos here and subscribe to the channel. Thanks to everyone. Thank you. Bye bye.